Hey, what's up everyone? In this new tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to use the servo motor. So this is called a servo motor, which we are going to use in the next video with the ultrasonic sensor to create a smart trash bin that opens automatically. So before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so that you don't miss my next videos. And let's jump right into it. So if you don't know what is a servo motor, basically it's a motor that can rotate, but it can't rotate around itself over and over again. It has a limiting range. For example, this servo can rotate only between 0 and 180 degrees. So we have this little arm that we can rotate. We're going to use a built-in function that is called right. We give it the angle like 0 degrees or 90 degrees, and our servo will go to that position. And to do that, first of all, we need to hook it up to the Arduino. As you can see, we have three wires. Basically, we have the G and D. We are going to connect the brown wire to the G and D. And the red wire, which is in the middle. This needs to be connected to the 5 volts. And finally, we have the orange wire that we are going to use to control the position of this servo using one of the digital pins. And to do that, let's start by hooking up the ground, which is the brown wire. So let's go to the G and D. Then let's connect the middle wire, which is red, to the 5 volts. And finally, we can control this servo using the orange wire. I'm going to use the pin number 9. Now let's go back to the code. And because the servo motors are a little bit complicated, there is a library that we can use to control it very easily. And it's called the servo library, which contains the right function that we give it the angle and the servo motor will go to that position. So let's include it using include then we open and close these triangles and in here we need to pass in servo dot h so that's how we include libraries and you don't need to install it so this library is built in and then we need to create a servo object to control our servo using servo and let's call it my servo then under the setup function we need to tell this object that we are using the pin number 9 to control the servo motor and to do that we use my servo dot attach then let's pass in the pin number 9 or we can create a variable using int and let's call it servo pin then I'm gonna assign the value 9 and we can use this variable now we can change the angle using the write function so let's write my servo dot write and we can pass in the angle which is between 0 and 180 degrees. Actually the servo that I am using can only go between 0 and 170 degrees. So let's pass in 0 and let's upload the code. And you notice that the arm is rotated a bit. Basically this is the 0 position. And let's try to change this. So I'm going to put the arm on this side. And let's try to change it to 90 degrees. So let's pass in 90. Or we could create a variable using int. And let's call it servo pose or servo position. I'm going to give it the value 90. Then let's write the name of the variable. And make sure to spell it right. And let's hit upload. You see that the servo is rotated by 90 degrees. So this is 0. Then we have 90. And let's try to go to the 170 degrees. Then let's hit upload. 
and I think that's the maximum value. Now let's make a simple project. So in this video, I'm gonna use the potentiometer to change the position of this servo motor. So we'll be able to control this servo motor using our potentiometer. And to make this project, you will need a potentiometer. Of course, we need the breadboard so that we can add the potentiometer and connect it to the Arduino. But we have one problem. So our Arduino has one 5 volts pin, but we need to power the servo with the 5 volts and we need to create the circuit using the 5 volts to connect this potentiometer. So we need to create a 5 volts rail and to do that it's very simple. We just need to connect the 5 volts. So let me unplug this and let's go from the 5 volts to one of the points on this red line and that's going to create a 5 volts rail. We can use any one of these points. So let's connect our servo motor to one of the points like this one. Of course we have enough ground pins. I'm gonna use this GND to power the servo motor and let me zoom out a little bit so that you could see the whole circuit. Then let's add the potentiometer. So we need to go from the 5 volts to the left or the right point. Then let's go back to the ground. So I'm gonna use this black wire to go from the right lead of the potentiometer to the GND. And let's use this GND pin. And finally we can read the voltage from the middle leg. And let me use this brown wire. So let's go from the middle to one of the analog pins like A0. Now we are going to read the voltage using the A0 pin that changes when we are rotating this knob. Then we are going to convert this voltage to an angle so that we can use it to control this servo motor and change the angle. And to do that, let's go back to the code. Of course, we need to create the servo object. We are using the same pin number, which is number 9. And this time, we are not going to assign a value to the servo position. So we are going to read a value from the potentiometer, which is between 0 and 1023. Then we can use the rule of 3 to convert the value between 0 and 170. So let's add few variables, like the read pin, which is A0, and let's create an int, and let's call it a read value. Then we need to go under the setup function, and we're going to use the read pin as an input using pin mode. We give it the read pin, then input. And let's get rid of this line of code. Then let's go under the loop function. So first of all, we need to read the value using analog read. We give it the pin number, which is read pin. Then let's assign the value to the read value variable. Then we can set the servo position using this read value. So we could apply the rule of 3 to change this value between 0 and 170. But we have a built-in function that we can use, which is called map. And this function takes the value that we want to map, which is the read value. Then we give it the first range. And because the read value is between 0 and 1023, we add these numbers. And we need to convert this value between 0 and 170. And that's how we use the map function. Basically, it maps a value, like the read value, from a certain range to another one. So if the read value is 0, our function will return 0. And if it's 1023, it's going to return 170, which is the range of our servo between 0 and 170 degrees. Then let's write this servo position using my servo dot write and let's pass in the servo position. And that's all what we need to control our servo using the potentiometer. 
let's upload the code and there you go now we can control the position of the arm using the potentiometer so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss my next videos and i will see you in the next one